Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us yet again today. This is the second stream. That, well, I guess not us again, me again, not Duke again. Yeah, not me again. Me first time. But, but you yeah. second time. Me too. You won. Me won. One is better. <laughs> you're, you're number one. One, one is the loneliest heart. number, though. Oh, that's true. That's yeah. True. But because I'm two, that means that, no, that doesn't mean there are two of them. Sorry. <laughs> we're, we're done with that now. I don't feel lonely right now is the <laughs> takeaway. Right, there we go. There we go. Duke is with me. Yes. We are a team. Yeah. And we're here to talk about Arkham. Yeah. Arkham Horror. The card Arlington game. Card game. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about you first. You're Duke. Hey. You're here at Gen Con. We have not seen you yet. Yeah. What are you doing at Gen Con? It's been a great time. Uh, I've been running some Blob That Ate Everything Else uh, playthroughs. We've gotten three under the belt. Uh, we had one horrible failure. Uh, <laughs> the Blob did devour everything, but the other two groups definitely pulled through and did their best, and yeah, they made it. Nice. Of course, there were new challenges that came with that. The Blob has evolved since the last time. There are new portions of Blackwater uh, that um, players can explore, and that's kind of impacted and changed the experience a bit. There are also these horrible replicating aberrations, like new mm -hmm. evolutions of the blob that are, uh, I have a lot of fun throwing down at different tables. Uh, it can kind of surprise you. It's a really great tool for event organizers because uh, basically like if you see someone uh, either getting a little ahead or getting behind, you can decide and kind of modulate the difficulty for them uh, thinking about this extra, this extra element. Right, and when you have that player that's just a really good player and you know that they are, but they just kind of irky a little bit. Yeah. I'm kidding. None of, none of our players do that. You could just drop one on them for fun. Yeah. I mean, I did it to everyone that I actually knew before nice. the con. Nice. <laughs> I love that. So, yes, exactly that. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I know, um, obviously, like, we're sitting here for the live streams. Your speakers are right there. Yeah. So it was really fun hearing the last <laughs> time you were going through it and making an announcement every little bit. The blob is at... 50 or less health at this mm -hmm. one, right? Like, it was yeah. it was super fun. I had a lot of funny voices, too. So oh if you come gosh. to Gen Con next year, you will get lots of funny voices. They maybe. were entertaining. <laughs> Very entertaining. Yeah. Nice. So running the blob, you have how many more through the weekend? I think we got Still? four more. Four more? Okay. Yeah, four more blobs. Okay. Nice. That might eat everything. It's up to you. Right. Or right. the players. Can they do it? I mean, I believe in them. Arkham players are pretty hardy. Arkham players are used to overcoming insurmountable green oozy odds. So I think they can do it. I think one of them is going to fail, though. Yeah. One of the one of the four. I will make sure one of them fails. All right. All right. You can't have everyone like just get ahead all the time. Right. That just wouldn't be fun. Yeah. Right. Arkham horror is all about getting totally bamboozled and uh, trying to make it out. And sometimes you do. Yeah. yeah. All right. Looks like I have a microphone problem, so. Okay. Just a second on that one. Well, um, yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna talk really loud so that people can hear me through you or I'll just get real close. Aww. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> we're talking about the blob that ate everything else here at Gen Con. Yes. But we don't want that to be an experience that only the people at Gen Con get to have. No, not at all. Like, we want to give you everything. Right. We want a veritable feast for you. Uh, <laughs> just lay everything out for you. So actually, I believe it's next week. Yes, next We'll be week. putting uh, both, is it Susie and the blog that did everything yep. else up? Yep. Yeah, that'll be up on the website for you to print and play uh, and play with for yourself. Yep, it's gonna be super exciting. Super exciting. And <laughs> that's obviously next week, as yep. you said. Yep. Um, another thing that we've got coming up very soon couple months soon, yeah. I still count that as soon, Indeed, uh, is our Arkham Knights kit. So for those that have, you know, a group of friends that maybe hang out at a store and play the game, you should absolutely chat with your local store and see if they would be interested in getting this kit to support the players. Obviously, we want to support you all and we want to give you cool new stuff that, you know, you, you don't have yet. We want to give you a new new materials to bling everything out and look super fancy when you go and play with your other friends. Yeah, you make the game what it is, and uh, we love throwing new Eldritch Horrors your way. Yes. Yes, we do. Speaking of new things oh? being thrown their way, what? we have something new Some that you are going to talk about, and I'm going to look at you, nod, and smile a lot. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, I guess now's the time. Yeah, now is the time. So the, this is our big Gen Con announcement yeah. for Arkham Horror the Card Game. Well, I am very pleased to announce that the next cycle, uh, the next campaign and investigator expansion for Arkham Horror is going to be called The Feast of Hemlock Vale. Uh, it is pushing into new territory for Arkham Horror. Uh, it sees the investigators going to a distant, not quite a distant, not too far from Arkham actually, but a secluded island uh, on a botanical survey. Um, when they get there, of course, there is a village there, uh, Hemlock Vale itself, and it's full of wonderful people who are all incredibly happy to see them. And uh, the investigators have a great time surveying, and eventually, uh, at the end, they leave. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure that's how all Arkham Horror <laughs> stories start and end. No, no, I'm, I'm not even lying. I'm saying that that is how what? the story will go. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you do well. Okay. Okay. If you, uh, there we go. There if, we go. If you don't, I mean, who knows? <laughs> um, <All right. laughs> I mean, I guess we could talk about a couple of the different characters and surveyors who might yeah. be entering. Yeah. Let's talk about that. So we're going to start with a character. Yeah. With Kate. Yeah, Kate, Kate Winthrop. Yeah, Kate Winthrop. Uh, she's going to be in the next Investigator expansion, the Feast of Hemlock Vale Investigator expansion. She is a scientist who is very good at researching clues, and uh, that is played out by using clues as a resource in a way that they've never been used before. She has the ability to sort of research, uh, like as you gather things, uh, clues throughout the game, she has the ability to research uh, her clues and get buffs to her skill test by moving her clues onto her actual science and tool assets. So you want to get out your rig, you want to be able to do your science, um, and using the flux stabilizer, uh, you get buffs to your skill test via the flux stabilizer, and uh, use that to sort of continue rolling on your, on your tape train. Uh, she okay. also has access to a microscope, uh, like all scientists do. I think they yeah. carry them in their pockets. Yeah, I have a, you know, when I was in a science class, I kept one holstered at my, at my hip yeah. every time. <laughs> but actually, she can use the microscope to observe enemies when they get, uh, when they're fought or evaded. You can use the microscope to study them, and then it allows you to make a big burst of uh, investigation later on to get even more clues. Sweet. Yeah. And then the most scientific of the things we're going to talk about today, yes. the pitchfork. Yeah. Pitchfork is a very, very complex tool that uh, definitely has not accidentally skewered some players in playtesting. Uh, I did receive a best friend award for doing that, and okay. I did do it more than once. Oh it's a very God. powerful weapon, um, and it's. I had a lot of fun with the design of it because the idea is that like you're going after someone with a pitchfork. It does a an incredible uh, extra two damage for an attack, okay. which is incredible uh, for a basic melee weapon. However. After you do that attack, you have to lose control of the pitchfork and spend an action to wrest it out of whatever hay bale or unfortunate investigator uh, you happen to have skewered. Mm -hmm. So, okay. <laughs> uh, but that said, it's very fun. I can't wait for you to see uh, all the different things that it opens up, and it's definitely part of a new emphasis on uh, tools that we have in the next expansion and melee. All right. Um, so. Additionally, though, mm -hmm. I'd like to talk a little bit more about the campaign. Yeah. Uh, the campaign takes place over the course of three days, and there is a day-night cycle. So what you'll be doing in this campaign, there are multiple places on Hemlock Isle that you can survey. And of course, before you go out surveying, you have to spend some time kidding up, chatting with the locals. So there's uh, these preludes and different moments where you get to talk to the locals of Hemlock Isle, develop relationships. You can develop friendships with them and uh, bond with them. And depending on who you make friends with and how you interact, you might find that they stand by you uh, at different points in the campaign or they turn against you. Uh, of course, this takes place over a day-night cycle. So you'll play a scenario during the day mm -hmm. and then at night there will be a night scenario. And the night scenarios are designed like they're supposed to be terrifying. It's night. You're right. Yeah. Nighttime is a very dark time. A very, very dark time. And actually, uh, all of the strange flora and fauna on Hemlock Isle behave differently uh, at night oh, instead right. of the day. Yeah. So there are different options uh, you can make uh, on where to survey, and that'll impact sort of uh, the flow of the campaign and different choices you have. Nice. Um, I am. This is an incredibly. Uh, amazing uh, opportunity and I'm very excited to like present it to the Arkham Horror community. This has been a dream campaign for me to make yeah. and I just 
can't wait to share it with you. Yeah, and I, I want to emphasize what you just said. This is because obviously you've seen Duke coming on to more and more streams for Arkham. Mm -hmm. This is the first one you took the lead on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's got to feel great. Oh, it's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Like, I, there's been so much that I want to, that I'm just bursting to tell the fans. Uh, and hopefully there will be a lot more opportunities to share that over the coming months. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's a joy. And it's totally great. Like, it's a, it's a delicious feast. Think of it as a sumptuous banquet for all of you that I'm laying out. It's definitely not miasmic or poisonous or horrifying at all. Remind me never to eat around <laughs> you or accept food from you. Maybe oh, that's more important. Fine, fine, <laughs> fine. Well, nice. Yeah. So that's super exciting. So mm -hmm. next week, yes. we've got Blob for everyone else. Mm, yeah. In October, we've got Arkham Knights. Yeah. And then later, <laughs> we've got Feast. <laughs> Uh, but I do want to point out, I'm looking at the, my watch right now, um, so pre-orders for this actually just went live. What? And there is an article up on FantasyFlightGames.com if you want to learn about even more of the cards mm -hmm. from both the investigator and the campaign yes. content. Yeah. So there's a little bit more for you to dive into over on our website right now. And I'm just excited that we get to talk about it. <laughs> Um, it's about time you get to yeah. talk about your baby. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> finally. Yep. Uh, this is my gift to you all. It might be a poisoned, horrifying gift, but I think that's what you want. Sadly, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. It is what they want. <laughs> but we're going to call it there because you've got a taste and now you got to go read that article to get even more information. Is it a taste or an appetizer? Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> I'll take either. All right. <laughs> well, thank you, Duke, for being here. Of course. This is a blast. Thank you for being here at Gen Con, too. Of Without course. Without you being here, the fans would not have had as much fun with that event. Because me running it, not the same as you. I mean, I think you do some funny voices, right? I could... No. Is this... Nobody wants to hear it. Is this not your funny voice? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, well... I guess thanks for joining us, everybody. <laughs> no, but really, thank you, even though you're picking on me, which you're just filling in for Maxine, so that yeah, makes sense. Totally, yeah, just picking. Oh, wow. <laughs> to the heart. She. <laughs> no, I'm picking on me. Oh, I'm Jeez. continuing the legacy. All right. All right. Yes, you are. Team. Yes, you are. But thank you to all of you for being here. Go enjoy that article, and we will catch you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.